Hello again, I'm Jake. And I'm Christine. And a few months ago we did a reaction video to Noah Antweiler, aka Spoonie's two-part review of the Reb Brown movie Night Claws. Reb Brown's supposed comeback to the world of movies, where he was advertised as going up against Bigfoot, and then it pretty much became a shit show involving people in day for night shots, secret agents, and Frank Stallone. And there were many videos afterwards where Spoonie, the character, continues to deal with the trauma of seeing Red Brown get his neck snapped like a twig <laughs> by a twig bitch. And he goes through a couple of other movies, including Reb's film Uncommon Valor, where he also dies. So in this review, he gets back to a little more of a happy place with a movie where Reb's more in his traditional form. This is Spoonie's review of Last Flight to Hell. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Ugh. 
mouth. And guess what? Awesome movie. <laughs> Honest to God, I don't think the director of Night Quads knew anything about Brett Brown when he was cast in this movie. He probably just saw a headshot in a resume and was like, Oh, this Rob Brown guy looks funny. Let's have him be the dopey <laughs> sheriff. And there's the problem. I got out of Brett's comfort zone before he was ruined by American cinema, like Jackie Chan. If you want the good stuff, you gotta go back to his roots. We need a box cover with a screen to action. Brett wanted a gun, preferably a That's not Reb. gun, one that is physically impossible. Badass, yelling and shooting the gun and yelling. We need a director who understands the last thing a bad guy in the movie should see is this. I love that shot. In short, we need an Italian using an American name so we don't think his movie sucks. Of course. So I picked out this movie, which looks like a winner, but just to be sure, let's see who the director is. Boom! Paul D. Robinson, USA! Big USA. name. <laughs> Generic name I'd write in the sleazy hotel registry after picking up a prostitute. <laughs> I mean, the kind of name of loser. Right. right. Anyway, it just goes to show you that you can't judge a Rev Brown movie by its cover. You can just tell. Back of the box tells you all you need to know. You got explosions, Dugan's fucking eyes pushed in, and nonstop action from beginning to end, and you got super action hero Rev Brown. That is how you refer to the man. Ignacio Dolce, I mean, Paul D. Robinson, you're <laughs> the man for the job. Prepare well, the for the awesome too. Yeah. Make it sound like more legit. Prepare for a colorblindness test. Okay. I mm. uh, was not expecting this, but hey, now that I think about it, how the hell else are you going to start a movie called Last Flight to Hell? Best to take the minimalist approach with the sound of crickets and still frames of blinding fluorescent colors. The video quality is terrible. Mm -hmm. oh, we're in hell! Well, they weren't live when they promised non-stop action, were they? I gotta give huge props to Tom Cart for writing this thrill-a-minute ski play. <laughs> oh, ski gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. For the opening credits? Oh, God. And see! That's how you start a movie. Luigi, my man, I see Oscar! John Williams ain't got shit on you! How in the hell do you make the credits for Film Ventures International release look like the opening crawl from fucking Star Wars in comparison? Looks like something an idiot would make in 10 minutes editing a scene on a couple of VCRs. I feel like it's been thrown into a fucking black hole. Q 2001 A Space Odyssey. Is this the real music? No. From 2001 it is. Oh. It matches the sequence from that movie. Because mm -hmm. they're going... Remember that side movie? Remember how I talked about the ring sucking in zero seconds? Well, it looks like now we got a tie for first play. Ah! <laughs> I can't move! We're <laughs> 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 not really good in that, though. Oh, God! That color. Horrible. It's like being trapped mm. in Andy Warhol painting. How is this not supposed to give away that this is a foreign production? I mean, you're watching this and you're like, oh god, look at this. We just rented some lame, low-budget Italian piece. No! Oh, oh Paul D. Robinson, by mistake. Hooray for Hollywood! <laughs> Red plays some kind of, uh, DEA Black Ops commando who carries out almost certainly illegal operations on foreign soil. Legal, legal, as long as he gets to shoot people. To think about this very hard, or where all these other guys came from. Oh, yeah. Wait, his name is Franklin? He looks like Joe Okagan from Naruto. Yeah, that's a drunken master guy. Not the black guy? Either way. Yeah, I think he was pointing at the ever. black guy. Anyway, Brett's mm -hmm. here to capture this guy who's the head of some kind of opium ring. Pretty sure this is outside the DEH jurisdiction, though. Last time we had to capture a crime board in China, we had to send the Batman. But Brett's snatch and grab mission is complicated when suddenly a third group arrives. Also, dude, Chinaman is not <laughs> the preferred nomenclature. <laughs> Big Lebowski, baby. Yeah, I can see how they missed those guys lining up. I will no longer tolerate any foreign intervention in my country. Friend, what you're trying to do here... Obviously, duh. My family will never forgive. I don't care about your family. Hey, I know that guy. He's not Colonel Troutman from Straight Commando. There's no one who can touch him. No, Red Your movie. whole damn army. Take him! 
Attacking them could cause a major diplomatic incident with the Chinese. Gosh, we're gonna kill them all! Yes! <laughs> yes! Now that's what I'm talking about! Rev, let's Nobody can leave. Fight. Let's keep Wolf's greatness. Please you can leave you. when you're dead. Yet the last two movies somehow fucked this up. <laughs> Well, not really. Ignacio Dolce, last I check, is not Bruno Mattei. Oh, he's gonna do the Vulcan mind melt on him. 
Ugh. Let me see those on the back of the thing. After killing that guy, the baddies hide in the office and wait for Sheila to bring the money to them. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. We don't want to kill them. We don't want to have you be Spanish. Why don't you want to hurt her? You just thump fucked the guy over the very same money, and look how happy you were. I'm pretty sure you want to hurt her. I can fix it now. Oh man, why you got the yeah, real fair lady running away? Maybe one of us should have blocked the only door in the room. Damn it! Hey, the strike commando music's back. This scene actually looks really interesting. It's got great lighting. It looks like she's about to find Connor McCloud's sword fighting <laughs> Kirby in here. The bad guys are about to catch her when Redman's the scene and starts taking him out one by one. Ooh. Where are you? Batman begins. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Dark Knight returns Batman. Sheila runs off into the jungle on her own, but mm. everyone wants to kill her there, too. Or rape her. She hires a smuggler for protection and to bring her across the border to the ransom exchange point. Which is pretty good thinking. She's lost in the jungle, surrounded by people who want her dead, and a smuggler would be just the sort of guy who knows ways to elude pursuers. That's such a pretty good I'm sure you're following the jungle. Or he could just kill her and take the money now, save some time. Everybody's a double crosser. The last time I trust a murderer. Triple quadruple crossers. I just love this guy's expression. He's like an old west prospector. It's gold! Of course, Red shows up just in time and completely kicks the guy's ass. Ah! Son of a bitch! No! No! So, where are you? I swear to God, if this chick breaks Red's neck, I fucking quit. <laughs> But what, so now you don't freeze frame? God damn it. In the mouth she of madness it. reference. And Rev takes the guy prisoner and has him move, move, move! 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 Move it, Dugan, move! Stay there. Get out of here! Move! Move! You're <laughs> right. All right, let's move out. Move, come on! Come on, you guys, move out! Let's get out of here! They get to the hostage exchange move, move, and Sheila move. holds up a key to a safety deposit box where she's kept the ransom money. Well, folks, 
that was the last flight to hell. The local time is 2.15. We hope you've enjoyed Flying Air Hates. Snakes. I'm headed with these motherfucking snakes <laughs> on this motherfucking plane! Ooh. Watch out for snakes. Geez, so far snakes have been a bigger threat to these guys than the entire chunk. They're like, oh, I know. Pushing her ass up. A <laughs> night. Yeah, that snake knows what's up. Rebel cut a motherfucker. She might think they're done with snakes, but then they find the biggest snake of them all. The mastermind behind the whole damn kidnapping plot. Reb! Yeah, he's the bad guy. Reb, how could you? I don't even know who like, the bad guys, good guys, who they're trying to say and who they're not trying to say. I'm going to take the witness stand against you. You and your involvement with the Spinola family. Wait, if Rev wanted Dugan dead so he couldn't take the witness stand against him, why in the fuck did he keep telling Rev to bring Dugan back alive? Yeah. You guys singing voice kind of sounds like what yours would sound like. <laughs> Old theme to, I think, one of Chuck Connors' TV shows. Man, if only I had a rifle, he wouldn't stand a chance. Hey, I made a Chuck Connors rifleman joke. That one was for you, 45 and over demographic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Explosive Red Brown movies, like it's it's probably the most subtle of his action movies. I can see that. But at the same time, it has all the stuff we love: Red Brown shooting yeah! guns, yeah, yelling, <laughs> taking people out, and uh, a few fun supporting characters. Like um, the woman was fun, and I've seen this movie. And the bad guy, well, he's not Which that. Which one? The one with the beard, the one they who got kidnapped. He's like a mob boss that he's trying to save so he can have the guy testify against other criminals. Um, that guy, Mike Monty, I think he was called, he's been in many of Reb's movies. So he's like a fun, familiar face to see pop up. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to know who are the bad guys, um, guy with beard, mob boss, kidnapped by the Chinese drug um, pushers, mm -hmm. and Reb's boss, at first we think is a good guy, saying he wants... Dugan, the mob boss, and as Spoonie pointed out, 
if he wanted this guy dead, he why, why was he constantly saying bring him back alive? Yeah. Sure. Very funny. I love the uh, the freeze frame moments, and especially when it said, "Do you read Sutter Kane?" <laughs> You'd have to be a real John Carpenter fan to get that. And I just want to say, for anyone watching, sorry about the probably weird shifts in lighting. We were trying a new position, and the clouds keep going in front of the sun and fucking everything up. That's <laughs> everything. And I also really love the jokes about the director, Paul D. Robinson. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's actually a common thing from, with a lot of Italian exploitation filmmakers, mm -hmm. like Bruno Mattei. Remember what his favorite pseudonym was? I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Vincent Don. <laughs> names that just scream. Yes. Names that just scream. America. I enjoyed all of the dubs of the other films incorporating it in to make it in a cool humor. Yeah. Especially uh, Temple of Doom. Doom. <laughs> and uh, I love his intro talk about the movies where Rev died and just how he feels that they didn't really work. Mm -hmm. Like Uncommon Valor, which is a legit Hollywood movie. Yeah. And Reb, I guess, um, suck the right dick to get a role in it. <laughs> hey, it's Hollywood. You know how it works. And um, Death of a Soldier, I own that movie as well. Uh, it's a courtroom drama where Reb is a serial killer in the army. And as for Reb's performance in that film as an insane killer... I honestly can't tell if he was good or bad in it. Like there are moments where he seems unhinged, but that just could that could just be him being yes. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last flight, last flight to hell. The movie, the whole movie is available on YouTube in its entirety for free because no one cares about it anymore. So if you want to check it out, I do recommend it. But just go in with a laugh at how bad it is mentality and. There's some decent action. The video quality really is that bad. Like on my own VHS copy, it looks just like it does in the review. It's not just like a certain tape yeah. thing. Yeah. Huh. So, uh, fun review? Always good. Spoonie's cool. great. And next Spoonie review we'll be reacting to is his review of that movie that you saw the, for the trailer for at the beginning. Lethal Games, starring Frank Stallone. <laughs> oh, God. Be prepared. <laughs>